Hey y'all, my name is Alyssa Nemeh and I have a Bachelor's of Science in Bioengineering from Harvard. I have a lot of experience in wearable technology and uh, novel impact sensors, as well as minimally invasive surgical tools. The first project that I created is centered around the use of nitinol in engineering. Nitinol is a combination of nickel and titanium, which has both super elastic and shape memory alloy properties. This means that it can bend, like it, it's extremely flexible and it can bend far more than other metals without reaching its yield stress. And due to its shape memory uh, properties, uh, in certain conditions, in certain concentrations, it can regain its shape uh, or like change its stiffness depending on conditions, such as when it's heated up or when current is run through it. This very unique behavior makes it very good for a lot of medical devices. And it's recently started to be used in newer devices that are on the market. By understanding how nitinol is used, uh, you will gain a deeper understanding of what is driving innovation in the medical fields going forward uh, and how other developments in other fields of science can enhance your ability to be an engineer. The second project that I'm proposing is the biomedical devices used to treat atherosclerosis. This disease uh, causes the hardening of arteries from plaque buildup, and this can lead to very impactful events such as heart attacks and strokes. This impacts a huge chunk of the American population. I think as much as 50% uh, of adults can have some degree of atherosclerosis, uh, and it's uh, an issue that has been approached with a variety of biomedical devices, whether it's through um, like balloon stents and angioplasties or, um, you know, metal stents or drug eluding stents. These are very interesting problem related to a chronic um, condition that impacts a large portion of the population. By learning about atherosclerosis uh, and analyzing recent innovations, you'll be able to understand how engineers and medicine are making efforts to address issues um, that, you know, affect a huge chunk of the population. Big picture, if you want to be a bioengineer, you want to improve patient outcomes uh, and uh, community quality of life through innovation. Through these projects, we'll be able to get some hands-on experience doing research and getting a bigger picture of the state of medicine and bioengineering right now and how it will likely evolve in the future.